One more time, I swear, one more time, and I'm literally going to. What's up, guys? My name is Dominic, and for you guys today, I'm bringing you three fails of Bayclan. And for this insulting video, I have ran out of ideas because my next video is going to be me doing two live clan war attacks, and I wanted to fill the gap in between and bring you a cool video. So here is Bay Clan, Free People, Channel 8, 9 and 10, failing. So from that intro, just as you saw maybe at the beginning, those two players have been brutally dealt with. Now nah, I'm choking, okay. Anyway, so getting into the attacks here. Gary here, on number 20 attacking, they're number 19. He is a pro at Hogs, as you may have seen in previous videos. But from this attack, something definitely went wrong. So as we take a look at this, he does lure out the clan castle again. Dragon and balloons, not a surprise. Your usual things in a clan castle nowadays. He lives out to the corner and he has two witches in the clan castle. He puts down the archers, a few wizards, a few barbarians, just to make sure the dragon and balloon doesn't go straight to the witches. So again, a few more wizards to help deal with the clan castle. They get that one wizard is destroyed. There's only one wizard left here. The dragon is still quite good health and he should be going down, but now the wizard goes and all he has left is two witches. The dragon focuses on one witch. He's definitely gonna turn his gaze to the other witch. Bang, and the dragon's still up with only one archer to try to destroy him. And of course, this is your worst nightmare when you're a hog rider attack. You don't deal with the clan castle, and you may have seen from my super analysis video of my hog rider attack, I didn't deal with the dragon, and it costed me a 49%. But of course, what are you going to do on a, a dragon still standing? You can't do nothing there. He puts a rage spell down in desperation here, but 25%, oh, no, no cleanup troops left over. All you have left is your hogs, your dragon, and a few hogs now left, and skeletons chasing after your hogs. So, 35% and Gary can only come back to the chat miserable and crying because this was just at the start of a war pleading not to be kicked. No, I'm joking, we don't kick people like that. Oh, <laughs> so next attack here, nice at the top, is Richard here, our number 12, optimistically attacking their number 7 here with a go-hog attack strategy with a king. I don't think he wanted to be in war as well because he only had a king but he was in wars and it's just like my fail attack in a few videos back. So oh yeah, just one one note, apologies I'm talking quite quietly. It's really late at night, so that's the things I do for you guys. So anyway, so again he starts off a normal part of a go hog, trying to get to the queen and the clan castle troops. Of course, again a dragon and two balloons come out. And yep, the golems come towards the centre of a base. No queen to help destroy the balloons and dragons. All he has is a few wizards. The dragon doesn't go down. And now it's just the hog riders against the dragon once again. And what's the outcome? There's only one outcome. Dragon's obviously going to win against the hog riders. As the hog riders just helplessly strolling around. Not being able to do nothing here. So again, just like my attack attack in a few videos back just like Gary's attack here it's not going well and 15 seconds left I just speed things up a bit dragon still stands towards the end of a raid and that dragon is a killer and he calls Costa Richard his war bonus and puts him on my fail attacks video and I don't think he'd be too happy about that if he watches it <laughs> I probably won't tell him and for the last attack here is one of our bosses Ken Town or 10, he doesn't usually fail, but when he fails, he doesn't like it. He doesn't like it, he doesn't take failing for an answer. And he's coming in with a walking queen attack strategy. A fair move, a brave move on it from a town or 10. And he's a very brave move, it's a very difficult strategy to conquer, but he's going in with it. And yep, yeah, so queen so far. Don't know what to make of this, let's just speed it up while she starts shooting at stuff. Minions of course to help destroy the surrounding structures, so that she goes. But the thing is, the, the healers can't keep up with the queen and they're slowly evaporating from the archer tower. Lava, pop, Lava Hound pops. The healer is still standing but not for long, she is gone now. 
and the Gohog part starts, but none of it, none of the Inferno towers were destroyed, and what well, I can't really commentate on that. It just fell apart before your eyes right there. Very tough attack to conquer. He did have King and Queen, but for that to work, you really need to get those two Inferno towers down, and then you can start off. And also. That double giant bomb didn't do him too many favours there. So anyways guys, hope you enjoyed. My next video will be me doing two live attacks. I'm really dreading it, but I'm pra <laughs> I can't practice, but I'm praying, hoping I have a good sleep. And hoping I'm in a good mood to get six stars for you guys. So, yep. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't so yet. And that's it from me guys, and bye bye